We mentioned this at the top of the show. There is a story developing in Washington tonight, a potentially big story involving the third ranking Republican in the House of Representatives and a speech that he apparently gave in front of a white supremacist organization 12 years ago. Steve Scalise is a Republican congressman from Louisiana. He was elected to the House in a special election back in 2008. And after that, he quickly established himself as one of his party's leading conservative voices on Capitol Hill. And then earlier this year, when Majority Leader Eric Cantor's shocking downfall set off a chain reaction, earlier this year, Scalise was elected by his Republican colleagues to be the new House Majority Whip. That is the third highest position, just two rungs from House Speaker. What just about nobody knew about Scalise before today, though, is this. In May of 2002, when he was still a member of the Louisiana State Legislature, he was a featured speaker at a workshop that was hosted by a group called the European American Unity and Rights Organization. And that group was founded by David Duke. He's a one-time Grand Wizard of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. Duke made national headlines in the early 1990s when he beat out Louisiana's sitting governor, Buddy Romer, to win a place in the state's gubernatorial runoff election. He ran as a Republican that year, but his overtly racist history prompted many of his party's leaders, including then-President George H.W. Bush, to denounce him. And Duke was ultimately defeated in that election. And after waging another unsuccessful campaign, he launched the European American Unity and Rights Organization. And that group held a workshop for about 50 of its national leaders back in May of 2002 at a Best Western Hotel in the suburbs of New Orleans. And that is the event that Steve Scalise was invited to and spoke at. The purpose of that workshop, quote, we are training and recruiting people to run for office, lobby their elected officials, and put together community-based organizations. That is what the group's national director said at the time of that workshop. Now, all of this came to light today after a Louisiana blogger named Lamar White Jr. discovered an old post from a member of a website called Stormfront. Stormfront is probably the most prominent white supremacist site on the Internet. Now, in that post, that anonymous Stormfront user says that he or she attended the conference in question in 2002, and that, quote, the meeting was productive locally as State Representative Steve Scalise discussed ways to oversee gross mismanagement of tax revenue or slush funds that have little or no accountability. The Stormfront user added, Representative Scalise brought into sharp focus the dire circumstances pervasive in many important underfunded needs of the community at the expense of graft within the Housing and Urban Development Fund, an apparent giveaway to a selective group based on race. It's important to note that this is the account of one anonymous user of a white supremacist website. As yet, no video or transcript of Scalise's remarks from 2002 has surfaced. And to be clear, Scalise's office acknowledged today that he did speak to David Duke's group in 2002, but they are adamant that Scalise was unaware of the racist nature of the organization at the time of that speech. This is the statement that his office put out late this afternoon. Quote, throughout his career in public service, Mr. Scalise has spoken to hundreds of different groups with a broad range of viewpoints. In every case, he was building support for his policies, not the other way around. In 2002, he made himself available to anyone who wanted to hear his proposal to eliminate slush funds that wasted millions of taxpayer dollars, as well as his opposition to a proposed increase on middle-class families. He has never been affiliated with the abhorrent group in question. The hate-fueled ignorance and intolerance that group projects is in stark contradiction to what Mr. Scalise believes and practices as a father, a husband, and a devoted Catholic. And now tonight, just hours later, Scalise himself is speaking out in an exclusive new interview with his hometown newspaper. He says in part, quote, I didn't know who all of these groups were, and I detest any kind of hate group. For anyone to suggest that I was involved with a group like that is insulting and ludicrous. Mr. Scalise continued, quote, I don't have any records from back in 2002, but when people called me and asked me to speak to groups, I went and spoke to groups. Now, to add further context here, in 2002, Steve Scalise was an ambitious state representative who was traveling extensively to tout his fiscally conservative credentials. But as a state representative, as opposed to a member of Congress like he is today, he didn't necessarily have anyone closely vetting every invitation he received. This is from The Washington Post's Robert Costa, who has been reporting on this story today. Quote, other Scalise allies who requested anonymity to speak candidly argued that Scalise was poorly staffed during the period when he was busy touring the state promoting his efforts to curb state spending. However, 
It should also be noted that the workshop that Scalise spoke at did stir some real controversy at the time. That same weekend that it was held, May 16th to May 19th, 2002, that same weekend, the Chicago Cubs minor league baseball team, the Iowa Cubs, were scheduled to be in town to play the New Orleans Zephyrs. And the Cubs were booked to stay at the Best Western in nearby Metairie, Louisiana. But when they found out that David Duke's group was also going to be using that hotel for its workshop, the entire team, which included 30 players and coaches, six of them African-American, all of them pulled out. Quote, I'm glad we're staying away from it, the team's hitting coach said at the time. I wouldn't have been comfortable staying there. And on top of that, the European American Unity and Rights Organization, that's David Duke's group, was not exactly a stranger to the headlines back in those days. It had been active, for instance, in opposing efforts to remove the Confederate flag from South Carolina's state capital, a major battle just over a decade ago. And just three years before Scalise spoke to David Duke's group, Duke had come within 3,700 votes, that's just three percentage points, of making a runoff for a seat in Congress. In that year, 1999, another person considered a contender for that House seat was Steve Scalise. And roll call this evening dug out an interview they did with Scalise back in 1999, in which they asked him about potentially going up against David Duke in a Republican uh, primary. Quote, State Representative Steve Scalise says he, said he embraces many of the same conservative views as Duke, but is far more viable. Quote, the novelty of David Duke has worn off, said Scalise. The voters in this district are smart enough to realize that they need to get behind someone who not only believes in the issues they care about, but also can get elected. Also of note here, the year that Scalise spoke to this group, the year that Scalise spoke to David Duke's group, that year was 2002. And that was the same year that Mississippi's Trent Lott, who was days away from becoming the new majority leader of the U.S. Senate, delivered these remarks at the 100th birthday party for Strom Thurmond, who had been the 1948 presidential nominee of a segregationist breakaway political party. When Strom Thurmond ran for president, we voted for him. <laughs> We're proud of it. And if the rest of the country had followed our lead, we wouldn't have had all these problems over all these years either. Those remarks from Trent Lott prompted top Republicans, including George W. Bush's White House, to push Lott out of his leadership post. Tonight, Scalise's fellow Republican leaders are said to be monitoring this unfolding situation carefully while Scalise's allies mount a defense. This from one of his former aides, again, according to Robert Costa, quote, Steve is a highly devout Catholic. It is unbelievable to me that he would knowingly speak to a group that hates his religion. But not every Republican is closing ranks behind Scalise. Eric Erickson, one of the most prominent conservative bloggers, asking incredulously tonight, how do you show up at a David Duke event and not know what it is? Again, there are no videos or pictures that have yet surfaced from the white supremacist event that Steve Scalise spoke at. His office, and he himself tonight, maintains that he had no idea what this group was all about, and that he delivered uh, what he, when he delivered uh, his speech, the, his speech they said was a standard speech about budget issues and fiscal conservatism. We reached out to his office today, but have not to, have yet to hear back ourselves. David Duke tells the Huffington Post, meanwhile, this evening, that he does not remember speaking to Scalise before or after that 2002 conference, which Duke himself was not technically at. He was at another location in Europe that was related to the same conference. Duke also called Scalise, quote, a fine family man and a good person, though he's perhaps not the person Scalise wants to be hearing praise from right now. The new Congress is set to be sworn in next week with Steve Scalise in the number three position in his party's leadership. The question as this story develops, are his fellow Republicans prepared to accept this explanation and to stand by him? Hold that thought because we'll be right back.